Good morning. And welcome to If Anything Can Go Wrong, It Will Winnipeg. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five birds on the bird feeder. That's the first time I've ever seen five birds on the bird feeder all at the same time. Yeah, now is when I should be out there trying out my uh, system with my camera, you know, where I would shoot an 8K and... Um, did I talk about that in one of my ship episodes? Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that, was in the, that was in the bird feeder episode. Okay. All right. Forget about that. Anyway, uh, the sunrise this morning, I would call it a hazy sunrise, but acceptable. Now, as you can see here, we got our railing on, and that's going to be in the rather extensive rollback. But it, uh, I, I thought it was a pretty good rollback. I used the two camera system again, and it uh, worked out pretty good. Uh, all right, uh, why don't we just sort of roll back and see how it is we got to this place here. Yeah. You know Murphy's Law. If anything can go wrong, it will. I haven't seen the uh, comments yet for today's, uh, today's uh, video because uh, it's only 2.42 in the afternoon and, and the video isn't going to be released until 5 o'clock. Right now YouTube is still processing it. And being as it, it's such a long episode, it, it's quite possible that it's not going to be in 4K when you first start watching it, those of you who start watching as soon as the episode posts. Anyway, enough about that. Murphy's Law. The little piece of photo etch that we put around the outside, got it upside down. And it's going to be interesting to see how many comments I get <laughs> after today's episode. Uh, I mean, uh, here we go with this confusing rollback thing. It, it, it throws me every time. Anyway, uh, just, just to let you know, I did catch it, but unfortunately I caught it too late because we've already C8'd it on. I guess I could probably break those two plastic parts uh, off uh, apart and, and redo it, but I'd probably end up making a mess of it, so I'm just going to leave it. Uh, not, not too many people are going to notice. Anyway, put this in a safe place. What we want to do here today is try and get this railing on this flange. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a combination of the helping hands here uh, and uh, we'll use the macro lens so we can get in nice and close. Okay, you get the idea, only I'll tweak it up so it's a little sharper, and I'll move you in here. We'll try and do the two camera thing, I enjoy doing that. Anyway, just to let you know, I knew that I, or I know now, that I glued that on upside down, so. Yeah, this, this build lately is sort of a comedy of errors.
Okay, now before that Iwata airbrush cleaner, you might say cures on there. Now this is only a theory. I, I don't know if that actually helps. But my thinking is that if I can get these parts as pristine as reasonably possible, the CA glue is going to stick better. Now, Just trying to get that uh, that little groove that we're going to be trying to glue this into, just in case there's any grease from my fingers, because I have I have been handling it, and when I was forcing it onto this onto this stick here, okay, just so you know what how it, I've got it set up. Okay, um, I think we're done with this, and I, th I would imagine that almost all of the residue that from the 99% isopropyl, which I better put the lid back on, uh, probably most of the residue is, is uh, you know, off of it. Um, it's it's not it's not 100% pristine, but it's it be, it's undoubtedly better than it was. Uh, okay, uh, let's just uh, recompose here and uh, get ourselves set up. The the plan is I'm going to use the helping hands uh, because when I when I touch the the end, just a moment here. Well, that black is coming off on the cloth. That's not good. Maybe that maybe uh, using it on a wet cloth was not a good idea. Okay, I just didn't want to get any <laughs> any grease anywhere on it. I, I want to know that if it if it lets go, it's it's not because I didn't uh, clean it up properly. Um, Okay, I'm going to use the helping hands. Oh, and I've got uh, I, I put I put masking tape on on the helping hands so that it would uh, um, not not uh, pinch or cut off that photo etch. Now, this is be, because I keep starting to to say why I'm doing this, and then I get sidetracked. Oops! Uh, I want to touch it in the groove, and then. I want it to hold still for a while while the CA glue cures. Uh, then I'm going to very carefully try and let go of it. I, I think I think it should work. Um, anyway, let, let's just recompose here. I'll get my uh, macro lens tweaked up, and uh, I guess we're just about ready to boogie here. Uh, oh, I didn't get my uh, my little container to apply the CA glue. Where is it here? Somewhere. Here we go. All right. And the uh, CA extra thin quick setting. That's the one we're going to use. It, it might not be the one that I should use, but this is the one that I'm going to I'm going to try. Okay, let's just uh, recompose here.
This is actually a lot harder to see than I thought it was going to be. I'm trying to get that, the beginning of that up into that groove there. And then when I take my hands away, it's going to stay there very slowly. Let me check the monitor. Okay, it would be nice if it could come just a little bit more at the right angle. Whoops. This is going to be one of those uh, scenes where I'm probably going to be taking out a lot of dead spots. So I can get the I can get the end of it, but I'd like to get at least the first section okay, so close. Well, let me check the monitor here. All right, let's let's just do just just the very end of it here. You know what? That that doesn't look right. Just just doesn't look right. I think I have to come this way just a little bit here. There, I think that's okay. I check the monitor. Well, it, it's some better. I've got a feeling though that when I when I go to move it I'm gonna it's gonna break off on me. Okay, I'm gonna give that uh just a couple of minutes and then we'll come back. Okay, very gently now, see if I can release the pressure, probably getting my hand in the way. Oh, well, it stayed on. Now, how am I gonna be able to get this in here maybe if I turn it that was the whole idea to be able to turn this thing right and then if I could maybe use the holder downer to just hold it down like this Yeah, I'm going to have to reposition here. Just bear with me. Maybe we can uh, just use the rubber end of Mr. T's poking device here to just sort of push it down and in. Is that, uh, no, that, that doesn't look quite right. Just let me readjust here. Yeah, 
you know the, the problem is the uh, I should have bent this this whole thing just slightly sharper it's not in the groove like where Mr. T's uh, poking device is it's that, that's pretty close. Okay, let's 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 just do this part back here. And just a tiny little snip of this. Okay, um this is going to take a long time so I'm going to just keep working at it the way you see me doing it and uh, we'll see what happens probably I'm guessing it's going to take me half an hour okay probably about half an hour or so has passed here the uh, video was posted and I had to go and uh, put it on Facebook so that my friends in uh, Jim Steen's ship uh, club can uh... all right I, I can see that uh... all right what's happened here is it's got to be pulled out at the top as, as you can probably see in the macro lens view um this is going to be difficult maybe where's my why can't i never find stuff when i need it here it is it's because the table is, is so incredibly junky i'm going to have to break this loose here and pull it out otherwise it's going to look funny this seems to be sticking quite good i'm actually i'm actually surprised here Now I want to be able to. Let's see here. I'm just gonna. I, I know it's out of your field of view now on the macro lens. Maybe if I move this out of the way. And get something here to hold against myself. I might have to take this whole apparatus out of the cardboard box and and just do this off camera because as, as you can see here it's it's the it's not lining up now I did not get this thing down in the groove all the way around some places it rode out onto the outside but I think that this is going to look acceptable I'm, I'm just going to do it off camera so sorry about that okay it is on and I guess the next thing we have to do now is see is there any special orientation between these two now I think that I probably want to have the the segments sort of lined up the same way as, as they are on the bottom of the pedestal. Um, at least I, I think that's the way it should go. And then when we mount it on the when we mount it on on top of the uh, the other the other the uh, the mast, or you know that or the starfish rather. Uh, then we have to I wonder what this was you know I should see if I can find this thing in uh, in uh, Carlo's book I must be getting tired I can't think 
Well, this is probably the best drawing of it in the book. And it doesn't really show the uh, the top layout. But anyway, that that's it. Okay, I don't think it makes a huge difference. But if you notice, there's two little bumps on the roof. One of the bumps is quite close to this line, and the other one is further away from it. And this line is slightly more this way than this way. And it looks like it goes uh, horizontal across the, across the ship instead of with the ship. So, uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just do it that way. Um, let's get the other piece now. Maybe we have time to glue that on yet tonight. No, I think this is probably just going to run down. And I'm looking more or less straight down on it now, and this, this does appear to be crossways, so it's in line with this, so yeah. I think I've made another mistake here. I, sh I should have painted this before I glued it on. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to paint now. Well, this is interesting. Look at how the uh, paint is wicking up in the... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, the paint's sort of wicking up along the... Uh, out, of the uh, out of the base there. Okay. Well, I don't need to paint there now. Yeah, give it a little bit more stability. Um, no. We, we have done this. And we've set this on here. We have to make this mast. And as I mentioned a couple of days ago, let's try and get this one right this time. <laughs> Okay, what do we got here? It's 8 o'clock. Well, it's after 8 o'clock. <laughs> I think we're going to call it quits here. So I think that's it for Pizza Day. See you tomorrow. Okay, it is morning. And uh, it's just barely morning, by the way. We're we're late today. I actually slept in. I slept in till about 7.35 this morning. Now, that is uh, terrible for me. Anyway, D3. And uh, somehow I was expecting something a little bit more, you might say, heavy-duty than this. This seems to be kind of flimsy. Uh, let's just start at the top here. It looks like... I'm going to nip well in to make sure I don't get anything nipped off that I shouldn't. And and this, we're going to have to be careful with this. Here's another one. I've, I've learned that if I want to nip something delicate to, to uh, cut right on the very end of the cutter, not, not way up you know, way in, in here where you cut something heavy duty. Cut cut right on the tip. And then there's less chance of uh, a lot of excess spreading going on. See, so I'll hold it like this. I think I've mentioned that about two, three years ago when we were doing the Bismarck. Okay, there we are. Okay, I think I'm going to get our little part here cleaned up off camera. And uh, let's turn it over here. You'll notice there's an, another one of these little platforms that a photo etch piece has to go on. We actually have to get quite a bit of photo etch. And the reason I'm showing you this is because we were talking about if anything can go wrong. 
Um, yesterday was sort of a comedy of errors, you might say. And uh, I spilt uh, CA glue on, on my green cloth here. Then, a little later, I knocked this thing over. This thing ended up on the floor, and I sort of forgot about it, and I stepped on it, so i got to find a new one of these. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, we more or less have it uh, cleaned up here now. Um, when I say more or less, what I'm saying is that I, I can see um, discoloration where the sprue was nipped off. And I, I did try to sand it down carefully. However, I, I found that when I'm doing something that is really, really flimsy like this, I have a tendency to uh, accidentally break it. So uh, I'm, not, I'm only going to do it so good and then I'm going to quit. Maybe I could do a little bit more on this one here. On the other hand, maybe people think that's a seagull sitting on there. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't think we're going to see that. Oh, I wonder. I could I do some? No, I'm going to leave it. Anyway, you know what? I'm going to call today's episode a day. And uh, we'll uh, be getting our photo edge parts that have to go on this in the next episode. So thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow. <laughs>